Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. Now, there's a little bit of backstory, I guess, on this one. Uh, this uh, setter, RTJ, apparently created this puzzle because of, uh, or influenced by, um, I believe it was Argentinian Tango. <clears throat> I don't know what makes Tango different in different countries. If anybody does know any of that, let me know. I'd be curious to hear what that is. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's supposed to be this... Um, movement around the the dance floor type of situation is what the the influence here was so just figure i'd throw that out there if anybody's curious so it's called dancing couples for that reason again by rtj let's jump into the rules of this thing see if we can figure out what's going on so normal sudoku so every row column and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each now we also have crop key pairs so data set by black dot and a one to two ratio one is double the other i.e. these guys, and did it separate by a white dot are consecutive. These guys would be that same way, and not all possible dots are necessarily given. So um, those are crop keys, and then we also have arrow. So digits along the shaft of an arrow must sum to the number indicating the connected circle. So these two digits will add to this value, and that's that. So uh, not a ton of intro uh, information here today. Uh, I just will say one thing. I have put up a, um, a sale on the fourth wall for the products. If anyone interested in getting, you know, Black Friday or a holiday uh, shopping stuff done, there is a 20% a sale off of everything, your entire cart, if you so wish to go in there and buy some merch. So anyway, that said, let's get in this puzzle. Links in the description below. Now, let's see where we're gonna start. Now, I think we're gonna just start putting in some info here and we'll, we'll make some, um, determinations as we go because these are of course all three cell uh arrows and they cannot be repeating so they must be from six sevens eights and nines this is not seven or nine now another thing to notice is this group here well we have black crop keys and all these so we're gonna have to have the only uh three different groups that we can possibly have which is going to be a one two a four eight and a three six well, that's going to mean these guys are from five sevens and nines. Now, there's no way, of course, to make five between a black crop key, because you're thinking about one, two is three, four A is 12, three six is nine. So fives and sevens are right out. That's a nine. Of course, this guy down here couldn't ever be a nine either. Let's continue to think about what these can be then. Or actually, I'll just put the three six in here first. And then think about what these can be, because you can't put a one, two pair here anymore, because what would you put here? Nothing. So these are the one, two, these are the four eights. This is already a five, so this has to be the eight. And we'll put the four. Now, how do we make this eight? Well, can't use the five. We have to use the seven and the one. So we can put the two and the five in there. Now we have some restrictions and other things we can start to think about. Like you can't be eight or seven anymore. You can't be a six anymore. And you actually can't be a nine either because I would force an eight here. So we do know there's a one on this uh, arrow because either seven or eight, both of them must contain a one. This can't be a one because this has to be a two in that case. So this is a one, two pair. That will force this guy to either be three or five, no, four or five, excuse me, to be able to get to the seven slash eight. Now, does that tell us anything? Yeah, let's do the same thing we did down here, but up here. We've got a one, two pair. These have to be from three, six, and four, eight. This has to be our five, which means this is our eight. If that's an eight, this is a seven. Now, can we determine which one of these is which? I don't think we can at the moment, but we do know these are the seven, nine grouping similar to what we did, of course, in box five. The five here says this is either four or six. I don't know if that's helping us too much right now, but it's something to have there. Let's go down around here, because again, we've got this circular motion going on. I don't remember if they said in the, the description if the, the, the Argentinian tango moved in a certain direction. I should have remembered that because that might actually kind of be, and not that it's going to tell us how to do the puzzle, because we can certainly uh, look at it and see what's what, but 
it'd be kind of interesting to see if, if the dance does normally go in like a counterclockwise motion, because that kind of seems like what we're heading towards. I might go check that out and see if that's what it was said or not. I just remember it said it went in concentric circles. Anyway, I'm babbling again. What can these be? Well, it can't be one or two, so the least they can ever be is a three, four, which is seven. So this will have to be the one, because the minimum plus one is going to equal the max we can put here. This has to be a four. Now we said the min this could be is three, four, so the four here is going to tell us where those go. Now, do we look at these three? I think we do, because what do we have left over? Five, six, and nine. Let's just put those in and take a little gander up here. What can this be? Obviously it can't be five or nine, it's six, which means you are three. That's gonna tell us what these are, and this is the four, eight. So that does disambiguate that. These guys now, of course, can't be sixes because we just said this is a four, eight, this can't be a nine. So this is five and nine. Five says this has to be six. Okay. Let's continue to swing around the dance floor here. What's the minimum this can ever be? Well, right now it's a two and a five. That's already seven. So these can't be from six or sevens. And actually, just notice there's a nine here. This is eight. And eight will have a one on it. So this one says it goes here. And then the two ways to make eight are one, two, five, and one, three, four. Guess which one we're putting here? Two, five. Now, I think we can do the exact same thing we did in these other sections, because now the 1 and the 2 are done, so we have a 3, 6, and a 4, 8. We've got a 6 looking here. This is the 4, 8, this is the 3, 6, and we have a 3, so 6 and 3. These, again, will be a 7, 9 pair. Again, similar to everything going around these other guys. Let's keep moving around the dance floor. This cannot be a 3, 6. It's going to be from 1, 2, 4, and 8. You can't be one or two, and you can't be eight, so you are four, which means you have to be the two, because obviously we can't repeat the eight. Good. Now that eight says this is four eight, by the way. All right, what more can we now do? Do we keep moving around the circle here, or do we have some more items? Let's, let's continue the dance. Let's see if we can figure out what this guy is. Because right now the minimum is a two, three. Uh, that actually doesn't quite tell us what we need does it because it could be two three or we can jump up to a two f well we can't do two five right because we have a two five pair here we can't use the four but we can go up to a two six can we do anything more than that let's think because if we can well if we limit let's say let's take it from a different approach we'll finish this in a second but what happens if you don't put a two here? Well, I guess you could still make that work, couldn't you? Because you could do a three, five. Okay, let's continue with this process then. Thought we had something there. I could have just said there was a two here, but that's not currently the case. This can never get up to a seven, but there could certainly be a five on here if it was a three, five. Yeah, okay, so I guess these are our options, and you, of course, can't be a five. All right, let's think, is there anything more we can do, or do we have to kind of cut across the dance floor? Um, do I see anything I can get going there? I guess I don't. Okay, let's try some of these guys then, maybe. Uh, we've got what's left over, three, five, and six. This is a six because of the 3-5. Uh, can't say what these guys are, I don't think. Uh, well, we can go back over here, though. Where's the 8 go? It must go here. What are these three? Uh, 2, 7, and 9. Mm. The 2-5 says you're not... Okay, that works, because it gives us a 7-9 pair looking up, so we can put the 2 here, and then say now we also have a 7-9 over here. So let's kind of do a little backtrack in our, our step here and get into these guys. You will be a 7-9, so we can say 9, 7, 9, 7, 9. Hopefully one of these guys is going to help us to get onto you to get this guy rolling. What are you guys now? 1s, 2s, and 3s. 
you are five sixes and sevens, you are not five, you are not seven, you are not one, you are not two. Mm, I guess it doesn't quite get us where we need to go just yet. Okay. Let's think. Um, one of these is going to be an eight. I was hoping we can push something up here as well. Three and six. No, not quite. Okay. Maybe we just need to look at some Sudoku. I was trying to keep the dance going around this thing, but I'm not sure if I'm getting there. What are you... Oh, this, let's do the seven and go back up to here for a second. And then we'll fill these guys in, because they are the one, three, and five. You're not a five. And you're not a three. Okay, what are you two then? Four and... Eight, uh, four and... Uh, yeah. Two. Goodness gracious, I couldn't find that. This is the two, this is the four. And... Okay, maybe we do now come back this direction. Because these have to be from one, three, and six. You can't be a one. Mm. Again, not quite what we need. What are these guys? There has to be a seven up here, right? So it's one of these two. We also need a nine up here, so it's one of these two. Mm. Okay. I was hoping, again, we'd get some more stuff that could solve this guy for us. But I think we need to dive in a little bit deeper. Okay. Um, I don't think we can say what you guys are, because you could be a 9 with an 8, or you could be the 6 with a 7, because you can't put a 5. 4, 6, 7, no, we don't quite have a, a trip or anything like that going on. Let's go, I guess we're going through Sudoku then, because I don't quite see where we have another bit of info telling us what's what. See if we can find something, though. Again, we know one of those is a three. Mm, don't think that's telling us enough, though. Fours on one of those, no. We may very well not have anything on Sudoku just yet, and I'm just missing some clue that's staring at us. That's always a possibility. seeing a ton there. I guess we know there's no 7 on here, but yeah, I guess we can use that a little bit, because we obviously can't put a 7 here, so this one of these is. And that will give us this as a 7 then, because we have these guys looking through. Okay. That works. Now we can come back down to here and hope that tells us more, because we'll get the 3 and the 6. And this will be a two. Mm, I think we're just left with that one three pair, but maybe we start thinking about what these two guys can be. Yeah, they're eight and nine. That's going to resolve this. This one will be the eight, actually. You have to be a six. Now that means this is a one, two, three. So let's get rid of that stuff and we'll put our one here. Now we've gotten ourselves back around. You are a six. You are the five and the two. You're not a six. It's a one, three, and a three, five. Anything correlating back up there? Not necessarily. What are these two digits? Sevens and nines. This is the seven. This is the nine, which means you're the seven. Good. Uh, this is a nine by Sudoku, because we have all of this stuff looking in there. The 8 goes here, and what are these last two digits? We need a 1, so it goes here, and we need a 5, and it goes here. These guys have to be 4 and 6. We can do that, 4 and 6. The 8 is going to cut across and give us these guys, and the 6 is going to tell us this is the 4, and the 1, there it was, trying to find that guy. That's a 2 and a 1, 3 and a 2. This is a 3 and a 5 while we're here. 1, 5, 3. And we should be able to finish this guy off. What are these two digits? 3 and 5. This is the 3. This is the 5. That's going to give us our 1, 3 down here. And we can finish up here. We need a 1 and we need a 2. There we go. 
Solve the puzzle solution is correct. That was fun. Uh, 300 and something solves in about eight days. That's not a ton, I guess, but uh, certainly was an approachable puzzle. Uh, definitely liked the flow of this thing, how it got moving around in that uh, that kind of circular dancing motion. So really fun puzzle. Uh, enjoyed that quite a bit. Hope to see some more from this setter and uh, maybe some more themed uh, puzzles. I always enjoy those. So anyway, with all that said, hope you all enjoyed this one as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.